the gospel according to St. Luke. And we want uh, chapter 13, beginning with verse 34. St. Luke, please. Pray for us. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Which killed the prophets and stoned them that are sent unto thee. Right. How often would I have gathered thy children together? How often would I have gathered your children together? As a hen doth gather her broad under her wings. Go on. And ye would not. And you would not. This wouldn't do it. Come on. Behold. Yes. Your house is left unto you desolate. My God. And verily I say unto you. Yes. Ye shall not see me until the time come when you shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. My God. My God. You're going to finally see this, your, your predicament. My God. Read the last two verses again. Ye shall not see me until the time come when you shall say, Yes. Blessed is he uh -huh. that cometh in the name of the Lord. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You would not. Our thought is unintentional consequences. Run intentional, not uh, consequences. That's what we have depicted here. I looked at this and studied this. Uh, when Jesus was dealing with these people, who were rejecting all that he had to offer them for their own salvation. And they just took it for granted, as most people are doing today. And so uh, he said, we would have gathered you. Look at how tender he is. Like a chicken does her brood uh, chicks, but you wouldn't. You would not. Uh, and now I've got to deal with you. See, I'm both, amen. I'm uh, God, of course. I'm a judge, amen. And I'm, I'm, I'm merciful, and I'm godly as well. You follow me? That's one of my characteristics, I'm just. And so justice deserves certain things. You understand? All right, here we are. All right now. Uh, this is the predicament of most of the religious people today. What? They are taking God for granted, my God. And the Lord, the Lord is sending that which will rescue them, and they ignore them. My Lord, amen. But they, but they got the faith in the judgment. They got to the face Jesus. Do you understand? All right now. He's the Lord said, listen. Now, that was not my initial intent. All right. I had, amen, I had determined to, amen, to uh, rescue you. My God. Here we did it, Javon. We want to have the, the right, amen, uh, sing of God. What is it all about here? Not something that we cocktail ourselves. Listen, listen. All right. Now. It's God's will that none should perish. You understand? But, his, but he has a, a, a kingdom of his own, and he ruled that kingdom. You follow me? So now... Uh, that if people deliberately do wrong, they have to pay for it. Not that he did decide that. And when he, when he does it, that's not his, in, that's not his initial intention. He said, I didn't, I didn't design this to begin with. I didn't decide to send you over into oblivion. I didn't decide you lose your soul for eternity. I didn't decide that. That was not, I designed it so what? Even with that, I don't need I made it and, and, and equipped them so that, that they, I mean, they could do what's right and they had the weapons to do it with, but they, had, they had also had a choice. You understand? So that's the situation. So here we are now. He said, now, I would have dealt with you tenderly as a hen does her brood, a whole little bit as they call it, but you wouldn't. You wouldn't do it. There was nothing that I could do. I could, would send one preacher after another. Yes. My God, you, my God. I would send you yes. one means of deliverance after another. I would give you hell dreams that you might realize it. 
My Lord. I did everything that might move you to righteousness. Mm. But you wouldn't. You would not. But you, but you had no, no, you had no, no legitimate reasons not to. But I hadn't done anything to you. All that I did was positive and good. You understand? Now here. It's all right. See, now, see, my initial intent was to make you the apple of my eye. I bless you above all nations on earth. My God. And, and I work with you. Amen. And even like when I think today, Lord God help us here. What? We got people, and God has done so much. Been so patient. My God. I mean, here, and everything that might would be a deterrent to us. God, I mean, God moved out of the way. Now, uh, but he had to deal with it. When time came, he got to, I got to deal with it. You follow me? The, now, I don't, I don't delight in that. I find no delight at all in that. But I got to deal with the consequences. But they're unintentional. It's, they're not good, but it's not, they, they were not, I didn't connive them. Anyway, it's not, I'm going to tell you, saints of God, now you maybe wake up with our God, who you are, and how super religious you seem. God is going to have to deal you according to your, what you are in, in actuality. Come on, come on, come on. You know, you say, well, I meant to. You know, and God is going to say, you know what? I meant to too. I meant to do you well. I meant to deliver you. But, what? but you did your own thing. <laughs> And when I convict you, amen, and made you aware of it, amen, you just walked on away whistling. I'm going to tell you something to God. You know, as I read this and as I studied it, <coughs> <excuse me, please. coughs> I said, listen. Now, there will not be an individual who will stand before God and say, I would have, I would have, if I had Knowing the consequences would be like this, I certainly would have. If I had known that you're going to do your own thing despite, amen, my, amen, my pleading with you, my justifying, my patience with you, I made it clear to you what it was all about, I didn't play game with you. But I guess you thought that there would be no consequences. You, you follow me? See? But now here, here, this situation. And all of us think about listen, you know why people backslide? They don't feel that the consequences will be as they are. Do you understand that? You know, well, they, they talk about it and all this, you know, and, and we're not, but they don't feel that it's going to be the consequences that the word of God means well. And let me tell you, say to God, listen. All that we do, there's a consequence. But now here, it's unintended. Lord, I didn't intend to, uh, I didn't intend to destroy you, Paul. I didn't intend to do that. But I had, I had planned to do all that was necessary for your salvation. I sent one prophet after another. I sent one man after another to rescue you. Amen. So I disturbed your mind. Amen. And then and, uh, and, and to deal with you, deal with you. Amen. Negotiated with you. But you did what you wanted to do. And took for granted. And thought you knew better. And then now, and now, I've got to do what I didn't intend to do. The Lord says, Lord, you know what he's saying? <laughs> Have mercy me. Have mercy, Lord. What? what did, now, uh, Lord, why did you deal so drastically with me that I didn't intend to? That was not my, amen, that was not my native intent. I didn't mean to death to begin with. I had planned something for you. You see what I did? Anyway, all of these, uh, all, all of these prophets and whatnot. Amen. They, I, I, I dealt with them and gave them messages for you and made you aware of what to expect. But you did what you want to do. Push past it. My God. You, you My God. But this is this But now you did not, because I was so long suffering, because I didn't just kill you and send you to hell. Well, you just took me for granted. My Lord, my God. You just took me for granted. For what? Because I, 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 there was so long, and, and so I was so patient with you, and you just said, well, gonna, God help us out here. Maybe we maybe know better here, children. And may God we take such a, a, a long shot like that. Because God, amen, here, here I am, amen, way up, amen, and now I'm, I'm going to take, amen, well, I, I'm going to get saved. What you mean I'm going to get saved? 80, 80 years old and better. God help us out here. I mean, and you think that God is just of such? 
Well, now he have got to do some unintended consequences. I didn't intend it. I didn't intend to do this to you. I didn't intend it, but I had no, amen. I'm God, amen, and, and I'm, I'm just. And justice demands this. Do you all realize that God's justice demands some things? Right. Amen, that's true. I mean, if we, see, he can even hand. He cannot deviate from what he's all about. Yeah. Then that's one of his characteristics. What? He, what? he got the judge. The Bible speaks about now. In fact, we are in the, what? The hour of God's judgment. My God. Maybe I should touch that bit momentarily. Listen, let me, let me tell you something to say. That is where we are. We are in the hour of God's judgment. Now, there's a time when the preacher preaches and lay down judgment, this kind of thing. But then there's a time that God, amen. God, amen. He, he, amen. Pulls the string. And he said, this is it. So I'm going to judge now. Well, wait, now, but here's the situation. See, I might judge you, and you could come back. Oh, by the time you're just talking, I don't believe what you say. But when God judge, you're done. When God judge, you, you're done. Nobody can help you. I don't care what they say, how much they think about you, give you Bible scriptures, and do as you fast all you want. When God, God judge, you, it's all over. My God. That's why many times, children, I don't deal with people. I don't mess with people. But I said, God deal with them. Yes. Don't, 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 yes. I said, God is dealing with them. So what can I do to add to that? If God can help us, what can I do? I would be willing to give my life, but what could I do? What could I do? What? God said, now listen, um, God said, I didn't intend to do it. And, you, and God's so wonderful to explain it to you. All right, just make some references, if you will. Uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. He speaks about them also in the New Testament, about Sodom and Gomorrah. And, uh, you see, you, that's one of the most, amen, critical issues that we uh, ever dealt with. What? Just, amen, just uh, parched everybody in, in the place. I mean, more than any other, amen, uh, event that we can recall. That's it. But you know what he said? Uh, oh, in the New Testament. Amen. If Sodom and Gomorrah had had the chair, Lord have mercy, had had the opportunity and the messages that you've had and the opportunity that you've had to get saved. My, my Lord, my Lord. They were done a long time ago, help us Holy Ghost. My God. You want even your children and your relatives and those around you. We're gonna say, listen, see, if Sodom and Gomorrah Amen. Had come to church where you go to church. Oh. Had been raised up in your home where your mother, amen, wouldn't eat for two or three meals a week. Because they want to see you saved. Amen. But they would amen. They got to stay. Uh, maybe you guys a long time ago. But you're gonna take for granted. You're gonna for granted. And they'd beg you dead night. Isn't that something you got to beg a person to get go to heaven? <laughs> that, that's ridiculous. Come on, come on, come on. Well, that, that's where we are. And he, he's looking, he's all right then. He says, now, uh, my prime intention was to deliver you. He will make you aware of it so you understand what you're doing here, and then I want you to come on in. Oh. Oh, you, you understand? All right. Now, but he said, now, but you wouldn't. It, it is not because amen, you didn't have an invitation, but you just would not. Amen. This one. Huh. I'm not going to worry you saying but they've got to touch some things. Listen, listen. Don't you know everything, despite your plight, short of, amen, uh, amen, total demise, all right, uh, God has planned in your best interest. God has planned in your best interest. You find, that don't mean you're going to just overlook Amen, your sins, and let you do what you want to do when you know better. Amen, despite his maybe pleading. I don't mean that at all. He, not, he, he don't go that far, you know. But, but here's here, here, uh, the situation. Now, I was, when I was thinking, amen, I said, wait a minute here. I said, I knew nothing about this truth when I was a little boy. The Church of God, you know, 
But my mother, was, she was a religious lady, and she would say some things. And, uh, and it, it would stir me because, it, it, you know, it was maybe Bible scriptures or whatever your case. But, but listen, here's the scripture. I said, now, but, but God saw that if I knew truth, I'd live truth. Mm, my God. I don't care about no food. Amen. But my family, that uh, ties, uh, amen, their family, amen, uh, religion. I don't, I'm, I'm not studying about that. God showed me. And when he showed you, you are, you are personally responsible. If you're in Babylon, amen, God will bring you out. Oh, yeah, I don't care, praise that God, what you got to do. Amen. You might have to go to another city, another state, but we got. Oh, yes, he will, too, praise that God. If you want to get out, God will get you out. Oh, yes, he will. It was, it was, listen, if you get lukewarm in your soul, maybe bring your backsliding, God will take, take care of that. Ephesus. Ephesus. Praise that God. Listen, you're getting lukewarm. Now you're playing church. Amen. Now, now you, amen. You're shamming. Come on, come on. You're doing good for you, God. You think your religiosity is going to take it. But what you do is not real. There's no power in it. There's no anointing in it. Amen. It's just a lot of superficiality. Here we go, here we go. Let me tell you something, God. You don't know, dear one, if the, the hours that I'm spending now thinking the Lord. I know you, you make this thing so clear to me. Amen. What I might would have done otherwise. I might have been there at this stage of life, amen, talking what I should have done, amen, what I ought to do. I'm going to have me some fun before I die. I want to go around the world before I die. I'm going to be like Solomon before I die. <laughs> he didn't have a, he didn't have a, a thousand, did he? <laughs> Not about that. That's, that's too many. <laughs> so, so, so here we are, saints of God. Here we are. When you, when you deal with these people, he said, listen, he said, no. uh, I sent you prophets. I warned you in every conceivable way. I made you aware that it was ungainsayable. Amen. And you wouldn't. Not that you didn't know, but you would not. That's, that's the issue. You, you've known it. You know it because anybody, but you wouldn't do it. Why? Because you took your God for granted. You think, well, I'm going to have 50 more years. Or, uh, 50 more days. Or 50 more hours or whatever it is. Anything you're talking about for the, from the future, because the future, the future is not yours. The only time you own is now. The only amen time that you have or that's yours is now. That's why I said, do it this day. God said, do what you're going to do today. You Wait a minute here. How many people have you known vowed, amen, to get right with God? Oh, yes, I'm going to do it. I, I, I was thinking, I've just been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it. All this kind of thing. I mean, I, I, in fact, I wrote a scripture in my Bible and all this kind of stuff. Well, then why don't you live by it? Praise our God. These are too many things. Oh, you know, oh yes, I was going to apologize to that person who I had demeaned them. I put words of defamation. Amen. And you know, all this kind of thing. You know what? And I never straightened it out. Amen. I overreact, I overreact with my wife. And because I'm a man, and, amen, and I got the purse. Amen. Not, maybe not too much in it, but anyway. Amen. Because of that, I have uh, gone beyond the mark. Amen. In, in neglecting her because I was a purse bearer. And she would not keep up a lot of fuss about it. So I just let it go. Let it go. And the Lord had warned you a lot of times. That's not, that's not right. That's not proper. Proper? You understand what I mean? So here we are. Here we are. I said, when I, when I read these scriptures, and I said, wait a minute here. Uh, this is uh, unintentional. God didn't intend to do this. He, we know, but as I say, he's God. Amen. He has a character. Amen. And, and certainly, not against, he obligates himself. So here we are. Here we are. Here we are. He said, now, uh, uh, they, we got some, we got some, amen. Amen. We got some, some situation to deal with here. Amen. And but now, uh, I don't really want, I don't, see, God, listen, the Bible says what? It's not God, well, let me see, not God's desire to destroy any of us. God don't get no delight out of that. Don't, don't, don't you think, amen, that's not, that, God is merciful, yes, he is merciful. 
but he got sense. <laughs> you follow me? This is the situation. He's merciful, but he's judgmental as well. You understand? And he knows when to pull the string. He, he knows when to pull the string. See, they were, <laughs> they were limitations. The fear of God. What happened to the fear of God? I, I'm afraid to play a game with God. I'm afraid to play a game with God. Take, amen. You know, here I go here, praise our God. Uh, God's with me. See, that last condition that you had could have taken you out of here. Well, you know, well, you know, well, I, next time I'll do something different. Well, you didn't do that last time. This is a tremendous thing here. Listen. He, here's what he said. Listen, listen. He said, this is what he said. All right. Uh, I didn't intend to destroy you. But you forced my hand. If I'm going to be just, I got to do it with you, but I do it to the rest of them who do the same thing that you've done. You understand? So, so here we are. Praise our God. Amen. Amen. All right, then. Now, uh, turn to uh, uh, Romans chapter 1, verse number 30. All right. Listen, listen. Uh, listen. The reason why, do you, have you seen anyone so lenient as God was, amen, as God was, with Sodom and Gomorrah. All of those visits to God, uh, amen, and the hope they get some, get some, amen, some amens or some, what, but here, here we are, here we are. Uh, about 10 times at least, he went to God, and God said, all right, I'll take it, if I can find 50 people. I give you, I say if I do, I'm going to give you 50 more months to live. Even though you guys have cancer for. Amen. It's down in your body, in, in your bosom. And you're not even aware that that, 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 that issue that you have, amen. That's what? What is it? Number four? How'd it go? What? Stage four. Stage, stage four. Stage four. Stage four. And, and most people where you are are going already, but I had mercy on you. But you took me for granted. You took me for granted. Now, the next time you come around, there, there, won't be no, there won't be no more leniency. There won't be no more leniency. I keep telling you this. Praise God forever here. He, he, tell him right here. I'm coming again. Amen. Now I'm going to send my son. Amen. I send the prophets. I send all those. Praise our God. Amen. And, um, you just they looked over it, took it for granted. Amen. Turn up your nose and walk on about your business. Oh, you oh, don't know what he's talking about. Well, maybe the Holy Ghost knows what he's talking about. I'm telling you the truth, saying to God. You better, amen. this is the situation. The way God is moving now, if we don't get situated, we won't. We won't. My Lord, my God. We can't be influenced by nobody but the Holy Ghost. My God. I don't know what I got to do. Amen. But, 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 but honey, amen. You know, we, 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 you know, we don't believe that. Oh, you, we don't, you don't. <laughs> that's, your, that's your business. You believe it or not believe it. I know what God says. Amen. Amen. And whatever I got to sacrifice to do it, I'm going to do it. Right. Amen. We, we, here we are now, saints of God. Amen. You, 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 amen. You, you come from my too many times already. Praise the Lord. Whatever I got to do. Amen. All right then. What do you, what do you say now? All right. Uh, he said, I have done this, that, and the other in my effort to make you, or to arouse you. Well, okay, if you go on it, well, I guess you, I'm glad. I'm, I'm grown, I don't have to say to, I obey nobody, even God. You, some people feel good because they can say no to God. I'm not ready yet. What? Oh, no, oh, yes, they do, they say they're doing something great. Oh, yeah, they, yeah, well, I'm not ready yet. Well, what, what you mean? I'm not ready yet. You're not ready yet? Who are you talking, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> Who are you talking about? Wait a minute. You're telling God you're not ready? Come on, come on. And I mean, he has all power in his hand. Yes. Oh, and he bless you down through the years, praise our God, and bless you more than you deserve. Mm -hmm. And you're not ready yet? My God. You better pray, pray hard. Amen. But a couple of months ago, we had called your family in. 
Amen. Call, call, your, call your family in. Our children, many times, they seem to think that, well, just because they have some good intentions, one day they will make a decision. But you must, my God, make a decision before you make one. Right. And, you got, and you got a mess on your hand. Oh, yes, I'm going to tell you, praise the love of God. And, then, and, 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 who, and, and nobody can help you. See, when God, amen, when, when, when God says finest, nobody can help you. It's over, my God, amen. You follow me? Now, as I say, this is the situation. Now, but God, he doesn't do that until he has no other option. If God got any other option, he won't do it. God not raring to, do, to destroy nobody. I mean, he, he, amen. That, that's, a, that's an whole issue with him. God don't prefer that. That's not his preference by any means. By any means. But now, one thing God doesn't like, don't take him for granted. Don't take him for granted, praise our God. You, you're going too far already. Bless God, bless God. All right, now, uh, when God deal with uh, listen, with Sodom and Gomorrah, listen. He did what he had to do. What else could he have done? Give him about 20 times. Despite all the mess that they had done, he said, I'll let you go. I'll spare, I'll spare, I'll spare those, the, 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 uh, amen, the remnants. I'll spare them. And do you know, despite all of that, they would not do it? Come on now here. Now, God said, God said listen, uh, the consequences now are ir irreversible. They're irreversible now. But now, I, 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 I had mercy to begin with. But now the consequences is all over. This, this is this is fine. They are written finest over your name. My God, my God. That's it. That's it. My Lord. I'm going to tell you the one. I guess you've seen a few. I've seen, I've seen a few who have uh, decided. They made their decision, but they are not aware of it. Do you want let me tell you something? Suppose you awaken and God make you sense that you already crossed the line. Mm. Lord, in, in that another you listen, now I didn't intend to do this. I sent one after another. Amen. I actually told you scriptures on a, on a, on the billboard. Amen. And all this kind of thing. But still, you wouldn't move. And now, when I've spoken, I've spoken. That's it. My Lord. Then my God, that's it. That's it. My God. Amen. I was just thinking now, how in the world, listen, in the little religion that I was taught, you know, I went to a Sunday school, come out there with a, a man with a, with a deacon with his cigarettes in his pocket to, to teach us our class. You follow me? And all this kind of, but you know what I mean? Uh, I, did, I said, Mama, uh, 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 a deacon is not supposed to, uh, to, to uh, smoke, is it? <laughs> Poor thing, she was there. She didn't know the difference. You know, she tried, maybe she tried to look on it. Because he could sing pretty good, you know. Anyway, thanks to God. So here we are. All right. Now, dear one, do you realize uh, your destiny is being organized now? I mean, you can think it or not. And you, can, and you can think what you want to. You can close your eyes to it. But I'm going to tell you, that's it. That's it. And then you'll find out what you, even the consequences, amen, is more, a thousand times more, amen, than I think it deserves. Well, if you deny God's, amen, voice speaking to you consistently, and you're going to tell amen it's more than you deserve, how much what God got to do? To make you feel that you do deserve something. My Lord, my God. I'm going to tell you the truth. Saying, God, this Man. is it. This is it. This is it. And I'm so, I just thank God here. Amen. So may God help us out here. Amen. Praise our God. All right. Now, do you want, we're not here to play games. We do do something on a Sunday morning Amen. because it's tradition, because it's traditional. That's right, brother. Amen. Do you want, we, we, we got souls. My God. Whether you accept it or not. Help us to see it. Help whether us you believe it. it or not. Help us to see it. Whether you can describe it or not. My whether God. you can define it or not. 
So here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Praise our God. All right. Now listen. Now, how will you feel in the judgment when the Lord says, listen, says, depart from me into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. And, uh, and the Lord says, wait a minute. He says, Lord, Lord, why did you do that to me? I didn't intend to. I had something, I had something better than that to prepare for you. My God. But give me another chance and I'll do it. Or will you? <coughs> you had a hundred chances already. You had a hundred already. Or maybe even more. Even more. I mean, some, some, some chances they want that was hard to, amen, uh, to deny. You had it. You had it in abundance. You could have cleared it up. You could have cleared that about it. Amen. And had your conscience clear. And amen. And your intentions right. Praise our God. Now, he said, but now, uh, I got to do what I have to do. I got to do what I have to do. Amen. I'm still God. And I have. Lord have mercy. You, I've already had 45, 55, or 65 years of you to my mercy. How much more? How much more? That's the situation. You've had mercy upon top of mercy, time and time again. And when you just say, well, just, you know, say what do you feel to say and satisfy yourself with it. So God bless you, children, and help us out here. This, that's what it's all about. It's all about. And I, I think about the, the pre God for the determination that these young men had there who went down in the water and those, what? And it seemed to be quite deterministic, and that's wonderful. I, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And, I hope, and I'm going to do all that I can to encourage them. Amen. Amen. Because it's too much. A soul is too much to lose. Oh, a soul is too much. My God is too much to lose. I had a message. But I don't know, maybe, maybe it was too much for me. Because I haven't had a chance to preach it yet. You know, I said, wait a minute. Let me tell you, give me about two minutes to deal with it. I said, all right. Uh, when we awaken and come before God, and he says, uh, depart from me into eternal fire. And it, it's, it's irreversible. Uh, amen. <laughs> you, can, you cannot, amen. You, can, amen. you cannot go to, amen, to no higher court. No appeal, no appeal, my God. That, that, that no individual or organization that can vouch for you. My Lord. And he said, and you wake up, you wake up, wait a minute. Lord, wait a minute. Are you saying I'm offering to an endless situation? There's no end to it? It's irreversible? My God. Well, Lord, can I have another chance? You had 40 already. You had 50. You had 60 already. You're not going to do any better. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't close the door if, you, if, if I saw some, some yes. amen. Yes. Praise our God. Amen. Whereas Lord have mercy. I said, wait a minute here. I said, Lord, the very fact that I'm still living, if there's any long shot that I might get, I guess too much to think about. It's too much to think about. So as I say, you know, well, you don't fight me. I'm not, we're not trying to. We're trying to make you aware. We're trying to make you aware, thank God. Amen. Now, do you want, if you desire help, if there's something you need to straighten out with God or somebody else? My God, Amen. Let's do it now, thanks to God. Amen. 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 Don't just go on it and run of shot over it. Shall we stand? Praise God. My Lord, my God. You, you, you can get it straight. Give me that. Give me that. Amen. Amen. This is the situation. We sing a song, Pass Me Not, O General Savior. We sing it a lot of times. Let's sing it again. Come on with it. From where you are, whatever key you want to sing it in. Praise God. Come on with it. Come on with it. Praise our God. All right. Oh, Lord, but sing it with conviction. Lord, don't pass me by. He's not passing you by. He's already passed you by how many times? Been merciful. And been merciful. Praise God. Come on. Oh, pass me not. 
जसे ओ हे मा बो You by you praise him by. At the throne of mercy, is that the way it goes? How did the how did verse go? Come over, come over. Come over here. Country Hip My own Believe Savior Oh You passed by too many times already dear one Your turn now It's your turn It's your turn Wow I told you, hey man, I told you to beg that pardon a long time ago. And get that thing and, and confess it and straighten out. Come over here, come over here, come over here. Thy birth. Come over here. Come over here, praise God. The broke spirit by thy savior, me here, cry. Take us on, and this will be our final city for today. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Save, Savior, here I'm. Wow, wow, call it, do pass me by, glory to God, don't let him pass you by the day, saints, you may get too far from you, get too far ahead of you. I believe God spoke clearly this morning. God has a plan and an intention for each and every one. And the judgment of God is God's very last resort. If you end up in hell, it will be despite God's best effort. Think of all you had to go past. Some come and sit in services like these every single week. You know, we live in a climate right now where some are going to be lost and they don't even know it because they've been deceived, but 
it doesn't take away from the seriousness of the fact that you could be sitting in this pew this morning or standing here this morning knowing you're going to hell. I mean, at least you know so you can do something about it. Yes, that's better. But the, the fact of the matter is you're still going to hell. There's no comfort in that. There's no comfort. If you're deceived, I mean, you have some comfort. You, for now... But some know they're not saved this morning. Know they're not living right. Know there's question marks and clouds all over their life. Know they haven't prayed clear in months. Know that if God were to split the clouds right now, that they would be lost and still won't move. You're going to reap an unintended consequence. You're going to reap an unintended consequence. We all say we believe Christ could come back at any time. Oh, that he could split the cloud even this afternoon. This might be our final service. The next meeting we have might be in the judgment. That might be the next time we meet. We'll be all standing before God. What are you trying to gain? What are you, what are you living for this morning? What is it in sin that has got such a tight bind on you that you could not get free this morning? I'm telling you, that thing, you'll despise it in hell. You'll hate it. You won't get any enjoyment out of it then. You'll see the worthlessness of it. Sin is worthless this morning. Let it go. Let it go. Walk away from the world. The pleasure you have this morning, it is fleeting. It's there for a moment. What is your life? Very soon, it will be over. And you'll reap an unintended... No one really thinks they're going to end up in hell. No one really thinks they're going to... But the Bible says hell hath enlarged itself. So many people unintending to go there, not intending to go there, end up there. We're going to pray this morning. If you feel any compunction, you feel any urge, not just get prayer this morning. Go and get saved this morning. Stop playing with God. Stop trying to ease your little conscience just by getting a little prayer. Get saved. Tell the devil goodbye this morning. Take some courage in your soul this morning and get saved. It, the devil, it, you've been too long in sin already. You have already know there's no pleasure out there. You're not getting anything out of it anymore. Just get saved this morning. Give up. It's time to get saved. It's time to get on the ark. While God's moving, you may not have this inspiration again. The way you feel this morning. And if you don't have the inspiration, maybe you should come until you get some. If God's not speaking, I don't, feel any, I don't feel any conviction. Well, you're in a sorry state of affairs this morning. And may God help you to sense it just a little bit. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we're thankful for the word of God this morning. Father, we're thankful to be in an atmosphere where God can trouble the waters. Father, we believe with all that is within us that there are needs in this building this morning. Father, I believe this morning that some are in the valley of decision. But my God, we, can, we do not have the privilege to linger there. God will make the decision for us. Father, the Bible says, choose ye this day. My God, we pray that you would Give some precious souls the courage this morning. Father, to wave an everlasting goodbye to the devil. Father, they might not see a way out, but my God, may they see the power of God this morning. Dear Father, you can save to the uttermost. My God, it doesn't matter how far we've gone this morning. Dear Father, God is able to undo all that the devil has done. Father, we lay a rebuke in Jesus' name on the power of satanic might this morning.
Father, we don't want to see any soul reap an unintended consequence this morning, Father. My God, we pray that you would linger with these precious souls. Father, we pray your conviction would follow. My God, we pray you would save, dear Father. My God, may this be a springboard this morning. My God, may this service and my God, may it not leave their memory. My God, we pray, dear Lord, you would shake it and awake. For very soon we're going to stand face to face before Almighty God. Father, help us to search our own hearts. My God, may we examine our own lives. Father, realizing that there is nothing in this life that is worth missing heaven over. Father, we pray you'd help us all. Bless your children this morning. Father, bring home, dear Father, the saints' children. Father, bring them home this morning, Father. Dear God, how many times, dear Father, would I have gathered thee, Jesus said, but ye would not. We pray this morning, dear Father, that there would be a heeding to the word of God. Father, we thank you for your goodness to us. We appreciate you so much this morning, Father. We commend the rest of this service into your hands. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. We appreciate each.